I would promise you guys we would be better next year. I think we have a very dangerous team. I see no reason why we can't continue to compete. I mean, our goal was to win a Stanley Cup. Obviously, it fell short of that, but that doesn't change that same goal being in place for next year. The goal remained the same, but in hopes of achieving it, changes were made and a new identity was forged. This league is unforgiving. We've got to pull up our bootstraps. We can't get discouraged and we've got to help each other. For me, that might be the most important thing our group has to overcome right now. That's our biggest challenge. Over the course of the past season, the Pittsburgh Penguins embraced every challenge they faced and they just played. They played for their families and for their legacies. They played for each other and for a common goal. They played for a chance. A chance to fulfill a childhood dream. The Penguins were ready to embark on hockey's most rigorous journey, the Stanley Cup playoffs, and were prepared for the pendulum of emotions they would soon face because of the season they just finished. Well, I think we had a lot of talent, a lot of potential in this team. I don't think the beginning of the season was good enough for any of us. We didn't play well at all. It felt like every goal was just tough like we couldn't almost score and you know game wasn't going well but i think deep down we knew how good of a team we are and it's just a matter of time when we were able to turn it around it takes a while to kind of develop that trust and everyone to understand their role and how they kind of fit in the big scheme of things and we end up bringing in a bunch of young guys and they bring a ton of energy and I think that slowly kind of you develop that chemistry, you know, you slowly develop an identity of how you want to play and when you start to combine that with winning some games everyone kind of feels pretty confident and we just had a lot of guys playing, you know, their best hockey at the right time and that goes a long way, especially in the playoffs when you just want to get that momentum, we were able to kind of kind of keep that from late in the regular season. Winning the Stanley Cup takes contributions from up and down the lineup. And that's something the Penguins got from the moment the playoffs began. Well, news tonight uh, that the Penguins will be going with Jeff Zakoff. If you look back at yeah, the rest of the season, like the last 20, 25 games, we had a tremendous run there at the end and carried over into the playoff. Matt Cullen scored a huge third period goal to give us the lead and kind of from then on out it was okay we can do this. Everybody's going and we're going to get contributions from guys at different times. The Penguins balancing their lines and getting production from the third and fourth lines. The Rangers are a big physical heavy team but we were able to take over that series with our speed. After that we got better and better I think as the playoffs went on. The Penguins will take to the road to open up the second round of this playoff year against the Washington Capitals. Coach had us believing kind of every day. We lost that game one in overtime and it didn't cause any doubts or anything. We were just staying on the same path, taking it one day at a time. I'm telling you right now, you guys know we're going to beat this club. If you look at their team, they had just such a heavy team, heavy forecheck. So, you know, we just try to use our speed as good as we can. We have a lot of fast guys on the team and obviously we know they had a pretty good power play too. So we try to stay out of the box as good as we can to not give their power play a chance. It was a battle. We knew it was going to be a battle. They were such a good team during the regular season, and they were where they were for a reason. We were going to have to play a lot of really good games in order to win, and that's what we did. Tonight, the conference finals begin between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Tampa Bay Lightning. I think at that point already, our confidence, our game, and our team was high. We knew that we are a good enough team to do it, but it's never easy. It can go either way. We were pretty dominant that series. It's not easy as a young guy to come in with all this pressure and try and perform well. We've gone through it all together. That's the biggest part, and it starts with Coach Sullivan. Say two again unless I tell you different. He was a little bit of a calming presence for us, knowing that he knew what kind of players that we were and what we could bring. The Pittsburgh Penguins will move on to the Stanley Cup Final for the first time since 2009.
the Penguins were back in the Stanley Cup final. And for the first time in seven years, the entire hockey world descended on Pittsburgh. It's completely crazy. I mean, if you think about it, especially for me, you know, coming up from the AHL and not used to being around with a lot of media and stuff. And then in the finals, it's just like all media. I don't even know how to describe it, to be honest. I'm so excited. It was awesome to see tons of people getting all the attention, having everyone ask you this and that, same questions over and over again. It's definitely something that I'm never going to forget, and it's an experience that is almost a second to none because it only happens on the biggest stages. There's noise around any playoff series, but once you get to the finals, everybody comes together to one single series with media and people watching and stuff like that. So everything is a little bit more intensified, and media day is a little bit hectic and a little crazy, but. I think going through it definitely made me a better professional and a better athlete and better able to deal with kind of the outside factors that come with being a hockey player. We kind of all were laughing about it saying who would have thought this at the beginning of the year that we'd all be surrounded by all these cameras and media day at the Stanley Cup Finals. Being able to kind of experience it as a group and being able to laugh about it and kind of look back on things has been awesome. I've always had that belief that, that I had what it took. And I just had to kind of figure things out. It's cool for me being my first real experience with the uh, cup run, and I'm just trying to enjoy myself, really. It's fun, you know, this is what you think about when you're a kid, so I'm having a lot of fun with it. Wheel, 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 wheel. Whew. Right up, right up. Next drill here. I'm dying. The Viking. Hey, vintage Viking. Yeah. Cowboy flower, eh? Now the fun begins. It's cool to just, when you take a deep breath and you, you realize the moment that you're in and you say to yourself, you know, I'm 22 years old and, and I'm playing in the Stanley Cup final. So it's a cool moment and I definitely have a feeling that, that I won't soon forget. Tonight from the Gazol Energy Center, the National Hockey League presents the 2016 Stanley Cup Final, the Pittsburgh Penguins against the San Jose Sharks. You've worked your a** off to get to this point. We have to have controlled emotion. Regardless of what happens out there, good or bad, we just play. Let's play fast, let's play fearless, and let's have a relentless attack here. All right, let's go get game one. Go drive, drive! Hey, go, hey! Hey, it's not gonna be easy, let's go! We got it! It's carried right back up by Brian Rust. Dropped it on back, Schultz a shot knocked out. Rust scores! It is Rust again! Puck ended up squirting loose right on my tape and I ended up putting it in. The crowd went wild and Gina was trying to tackle me and it's definitely something that I'm not gonna forget. Crosby will win the race to it. Crosby able to scoop it away. It's to Sheary. Cycle sequence for San Jose, playing to character. We gotta gap up on their two stretch guys. We can't play off them. Stay in their face. Same two, Bones and Haggy. Over, hard, hard. We are a hard team to play against, okay? We'll see what we can learn from this one, and then we'll go after the game. Great job. Hawks almost coughed it up, and Kessel had a chance. Penguins set it up for Benino. He walks in, got a man in front, it's in! And the Penguins get the first score of this game. Good job, boys! Good job, boys! Boys, this is our game right here! Keep shooting! Gee! Hey, hey! I'd look me off too if I were him. We gotta play straight ahead here, boys. In the middle, in the middle! It's scaled back around now, and Braun a shot, he scores! 60 have been played, and it has not been adequate to decide this one. I was nervous, I, I can tell you that for sure. It was pretty crazy. You, you want to embrace the moment, never overthought anything. I just went out there, had fun, and played. Here's Latang after the face-off, and the Penguins have it. Goes over down, a quick shot, score! That's Siri with the goal! He wins up for the Penguins! 
Connor Sherry. I think you're just trying to get to the pile as soon as you can once that goal goes in. It's just a feeling of pure joy and excitement. What's crazy about us, we always have somebody stepping up big. It's always a different guy. I think that was our strength. That's what made us dangerous. It obviously helped, you know, winning both games at home. It put a lot of pressure on the Sharks. Everybody had a feeling, oh, if we can maybe steal one in San Jose, we had a pretty good chance. We were the better team all night, like I told you after the third period. We just got to stay with it, right? If we get scored against late in the game, it doesn't affect your mindset. We just keep playing. That's the biggest strength we have with this group, is that we don't let that stuff affect us. We're going to travel to San Jose, and then we're going to go there and do what we do. All right? Great job. To see Shears, you score that goal, and then see the excitement on his face. It's something that him being one of my really good buddies is really special to see that. Pittsburgh traveled west with two wins stowed away as the Stanley Cup final shifted to San Jose. And the Penguins were hoping to return home with more than what they packed. We have to have a killer instinct. We gotta make them play at an uncomfortably high pace because they can't skate with you. And it starts with simplifying the game here, okay? Let's have a good start and let's feed off the energy in this building. Embrace it here. Here we go. That's good, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Take it to him here. The Penguins 2-0 in this playoff year against uh, the Sharks so far. The Penguins winning both games at home, including a very big 2-1 win over the Sharks in their last meeting. It'll be a loud and thunderous crowd here. There's no question about it. The barn is made for sound, and they will be at full force. A mishandle by the Sharks goalie, and then a shot, score! Lovejoy, let it go, it becomes the first goal of the game. Bank shot, love it. Geometry major, I guess. The Penguins, they feed off of this energy in the building, and that's the yeah. thing. You have to have a little bit of that personality where you love going into the Shark Tank or Madison Score Guard, wherever it is, where you are the enemy, and there's nothing better than scoring that first goal and making this building quiet. Right back come the Sharks. They've got a three on two. Brought back. Score! Wide! Sharks coming back to tie it. Right for the second time in this series, we will go to OT. Let's get a move. Let's get a move. The thing went on and turning. Looking for someone. He's got the on Scoy turning to shoot and score. Don Scoy wins it for the Sharks in overtime. Came from behind the net. And San Jose gets his first win in this series. Obviously, you can't lose two games in a row very often in the playoffs or else you're going to be done. So whether we win or lose, whether it's game seven or game one, we just play. We'll have black coming out of this end, white coming out of that end. Ready? Go with them. There you go. There you go. Speed. 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 Get over. Get over. Get over. Go through. There you go. Okay, here we go, Bones. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, boy. What a play by Bones, huh? He just sees it. That's it. Good play. Good, good, that's it. Nice play, Horny. Make sure you guys don't get too tight. Stay out. Start on your strong sides. When he carries, you switch to your one-timers. Come on. Right idea, Bones. Okay, bring it in. Tomorrow, we bring the same game, the same energy, the same commitment, okay? We get a little bit better in a couple of areas, and we get the result we're looking for. All right, good job today. Well, the Pens, of course, if they can win here tonight, will take a 3-1 lead in the series and a chance to possibly close it out in Pittsburgh in Game 5, but that's always a down the road. Don't worry about what they're going to do. Let's initiate right from the drop of the puck. It starts with our physical play, and it starts with our skating. Let's have a night here. Go drive, drive! Bad on now for Kessel, marches right in. Kessel peeling off and shot one safe. Cole scores! His first ever Stanley Cup playoff goal, and it breaks a nothing, nothing tie. That's a thing of beauty. Precision, execution. Walked ahead by Kessel, shoved one around in front, score! Malkin was at the side of the net. Keep going here, buddy, keep going. Polak 
with it there, swung it across. Dillon with a wrister, and that blocked out. A shot, score! Go get it here, boys. Let's go get it here. Hey. Sent back on now, and it is Haglin across. Score! It's yeah. Eric Fair! Yeah. That is it. The Penguins are up in the series. Three games to one, winning game four, three goals to one. Awesome stuff, all right? Now we go home <coughs> and finish this job. Really good stuff, all right? Yeah! Cheers. Nice job. A lot of good performances. Performances, Kohler. Oh, but uh, this guy, timely goal. Big goal for us. Fair oh. Yeah! Let's finish it off here. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hockey night in Pittsburgh tonight from the Gonzal Energy Center, the 2016 Stanley Cup Final, the Pittsburgh Penguins against the San Jose Sharks. Hello again, everybody. This is Mike Lang along with the old 2-9er Phil Bork. The Pittsburgh Penguins are on home ice tonight with an opportunity to win their fourth Stanley Cup. Hey, boy, boy, what a f game this guy be here. Here we go. Well, here inside the building, 18,000 plus. Outside the building, at least that. And here we go. They drop the puck and the Penguins control the draw. Know who you got now? Know who you got? Carlson moves back in with the in Cole. It's played around now and it's Burns and shot. He scores! Is two to nothing. There's definitely some nerves, I would say. I was definitely nervous. You know, maybe we came out gripping our sticks a little too tight and kind of worrying about something other than the task at hand. Hey, there's a lot of hook. A lot of hook. We pushed back hard and we wanted to win so bad on home ice and we just weren't able to make the most of it. Shooting score in it! I think, really, we deserve to win that game. I think Jones is the only reason why we didn't. And San Jose has fought off elimination, and they have defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins, San Jose 4, and Pittsburgh 2. In the end, maybe that's what we needed, just to go into San Jose without all the noise. It was one last business trip for the Penguins. One more chance to just play. The noise in San Jose would be a little different but the Penguins were hoping it would have a nice ring to it. Here we are again, knocking on the door, right? Knocking on the door, we gotta bang it in. And the way to do it is we just play. There's a lot of hockey out there, okay? Early on, let's simplify the game. Let's play north, let's play fast, let's challenge them with speed in every zone. They can't handle your speed. Penguins hockey, fast and fearless, chipping bodies, attention to detail. Everybody's gotta buy in. Let's get this thing done here, enough is enough. Yeah. Gotta be moving, Rusty. Gotta be moving. Take it to him here. The Penguins within range of winning the Stanley Cup for the second consecutive game. All time, the Penguins are 3 0 when they have a chance to eliminate their opponent on the road in the Stanley Cup final. Come on, boys. Come on, hey, you, you kidding, sniper? Let's go. Set. Every face off, we're not killing it. Break their deep turn, boys. Let's go. Get some ice! Get some speed! Skate, 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 skate! Hunter Sheary rattled it around. Stepping to it is Justin Schultz. Look at this. Dumoulin waits. Shoot it! Fires! Score! A power play goal, and it's 1-0. Yeah! Good entry, good shot, huh, boy? Played right back across, and here's Couture. Score! Oh, oh boy. Momentum swings in this game. And a sliding denial by Kunitz. Oh my Cooney! Sit, sit, sit! It's Latang holding, delaying some more. Fed one around in front, pumped at there by Hornquist, taken by Crosby. A shot score! It's yeah. Latang! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go, baby! That is just what the doctor ordered. Let's make some plays if they're there here, boys. Hey, go! Take it to the net, you got him! Sid, you and Horny! Horny, 
Find that open space, right? Classic there. Shovels one. Knocked down by Crosby. Sent back out now to Hornquist. Hornquist with the net empty. He scores! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Stay with it! Hey! 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 Stay with it! I tell you, the Penguins on the bench right now are like eight-year-old kids. That's all right. That's awesome. Drop of the buck, classic shooting it. Knocked down, Crosby's got it, play it up. The Penguins have jumped over the boards. It's over. Get in the pass lane, Grandma. The bingo game is ready to roll. The 2016 Stanley Cup champions, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Played unbelievable. Thank you. Unbelievable. You coached pretty good too. Thanks, Cole. Coach. That right away, Colsey. Oh, congrats. I'm proud of you guys. What an unbelievable moment here for the band. Yeah! Woo! For these players, something that they will never, ever forget, and the bond between them all is something that you have to experience to really understand how this will carry the rest of their lives. It was one of the craziest things I've ever been a part of was that parade. I was smiling ear to ear the entire time. I couldn't believe how many people came out. We play for ourselves and for fun and for our families, but we also play for the city of Pittsburgh. That's a huge honor. We wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for the support of you fans. When you play against a team from Pittsburgh, you play the entire city. Our fourth Stanley Cup championship in 25 years. Pitch yourselves, Pittsburgh! They played for their families and cemented their legacies. Woo! They played for each other and achieved a common goal. They played for a chance and fulfilled a childhood dream. Coach, I just want to congratulate you and, and the entire Penguins organization. I started off my presidency with the Penguin Stanley Cup, and I'm now ending it with the Penguin Stanley Cup. You guys had a great run. Yeah, we did. We really did. We've got a great group of players. They played extremely hard. We're certainly proud of them. And, uh, you know, as you know, it's, it's, it's hard to win these championships in professional sports. So. We're, uh, we're proud of the whole group. Well, you should be, and uh, you need to take some credit because uh, you did a heck of a job coaching. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that.